Did you know? My name is Sarah Kaplan and I'm an occupational therapist at the Pines Bridge School of Putnam Northern Westchester BOCES. Here at Pines Bridge, we are fortunate enough to have a multi-sensory environment by bringing students into an environment that is designed for their basic sensory needs, the philosophy is that the students are more easily to transition into attunement with their environment and achieve that ideal calm, quiet, and alert state which is required for learning. Additionally, by having an environment where more than one mode of sensory input is provided, for students who have atypical neural development, the hope is that the stronger aspects of the brain are able to help the aspects that need it. For example, students who have a harder time hearing are going to be able to feel the vibration of the music through the vibroacoustic mat tables. Based upon the needs of the students, music is turned on at either a level one, level two, or level three. The music is then paired with visual stimulation through lights. The mat tables are also hooked up so they have the capability of vibrating with the music. There's fiber optics. Students can reach for and touch the fibers that come down and they light up. There are bubble tubes in the room that students can watch the bubble tubes as the lights are going. The students also are empowered. They have control over their environment. When you think of students who don't have many choices during the day, they can't choose when to wake up. They can't choose when to go to sleep. They're not choosing when they're, what they're wearing or what they're eating. The ability to hit a switch and turn on a fiber optic and light up a dark room is empowering. It's that label of empowerment that will motivate students to interact with their environment. Now you know. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.